So in this lecture, we will learn how to apply the potential loading in OptiStruct. So basically, we have two ways of applying the potential loading. So we know that we can create the bolt by two methods. We can create 1D bolt or we can create the 3D bolt. So in OptiStruct, we have different way of applying the potential load when we have 1D bolt. And for the 3D bolt, there is a different types of method. So we are going to learn about both one by one. So initially we are going to learn about how to create 1D pretension. So now let's go to hypermesh. So here I'm going to open up a file in the analysis folder, go to bold pretension, open up, open up this flange file. So in this flange file, we have already created an assembly of a flange. So in this flange, you can see we have bolt, bolt assembly. So by default, we have created the 3D bolt here. You can see. 3D bolt has been created and you can see the nuts around this. Okay. So initially, since we are considering the 1D beam connection, so right now we are considering the 1D bolt connection. So first of all, we need to create a 1D bolt here. Okay. But when we apply the pretension, we split a complete bolt in three parts. So now first let me create a 1D bolt here. So first we will have to check the diameter of the hole. So press D. Right click on the bolt return and then go to F4, press F4, 3D node, select the first node, second node and third node. So you can see the radius is 6.7. So we can use a bolt of M12. Okay. So click on return. Similarly here, press D. We don't need this nut here. Now click on return. So first of all, so we need to create a rigid connection here. So I will go to component, right click, create rigid. Then go to 1D and go to rigid here. Give it some different color. Let's say this is the pink one. Here select nodes. Here select calculate node. Now select all the nodes from this washer one by one. So select all the nodes like this. Okay, so select this node, this here. So once all nodes are selected, click on create. You can see RB2 element has been created. Also, I'm going to create one more RB2 here, but this is a nut area. So I'm going to select the face here. Give it some angle like 45, select this complete face. Click on create. We don't want this node here. Shift plus F2, click clear all. Click on return and return. Now we don't uh, need this flange here. So I will go to this rigid right click isolate only. Now I will have to create a beam between them. But before that to create the beam, I will have to create a hyper beam. So I will go to hyper beam here, right click create standard. I'm going to create using hyper mesh solid circle. So this is right click rename it. This is M12 and this is radius 6. Okay. Radius 6 here. Press enter. Go to model view. Now we need to create a property here. Go to property. This is P beam. P beam. Give it the card image that is P beam here. This is P beam. Yes. Okay. Now I'm not going to define the material here. Go to beam section and define this beam section. Okay. Now I will create one more component that is our bolt. Now I will have to create three beam along this, not single beam. So for this press F8 from the keyboard, go to this option of interpolate node. Number of node I want to. Select the first node here and select the second node here. Click on create. So with this option, you can see two nodes are created at equal distance. Now I can create the beam. So go to 1D beam property here, P beam element type C beam. And you can see the length is along X axis. So here we can take Y or Z. Okay. So Y is one here. It is good. Okay. Now select the first node and this, this is the second node. Again, first node, 
second node first node second node here you can see three beams has been created and we are going to apply the pretension load on the middle beam so click on return from here okay press shift plus f2 we don't need this node clear all or we can make a right click isolate only i only want the beam now to create the pretension load we will have to go to tools and here go to pretension manager now here you will see by bolt or by all i am selecting by bolt on the right side you will see add 1d or add 3d we know this is 1d bolt so click on add 1d now it is asking me to select the element okay before this we need to create a load collector here i will press escape from here click okay click on cancel right click create and go to load collector give it name this is for pretension so all the pretension force will go inside this so once again go to tools go to here go to pretension manager add 1d select the middle b select the middle element you can see middle element is selected click on proceed okay so this is the element id here 74484 the software take it by default go to load type here select force in the load collector click on load collector click on this arrow select existing click on load collector pretension proceed so all the force will go in this pretension load collector in the magnitude insert value let's say so we are taking any random value let's say this is 10000 newton and click on apply if you take it look at from here i will drag this you can see here pretension force can be seen by this big arrow click on cancel i will make a uncheck on this here you will see pt force so in this way we can apply the pretension force in the 1d bolt similarly we can also make 1d bolt or on all the bolt and we can apply the pretension load let's say for example i also want to create pretension force on this beam also for example here let's say i will select this beam this time click on add in actually we only have to define the pretension force only this middle beam not not the adjacent but i am showing this you for ex just an example so select this beam here proceed once again we need to select the same procedure select force here select the collector here select existing click on this pretension proceed give it name this is 10000 okay 10000 value and click on apply and okay in this way the pretension force also applied on to the other bolt similarly we can apply this force to all the bolts one by one